हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नीलांजना सनियाल वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल लेन एस ऑनलाइन मैथ क्लासेस आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज सॉल्विंग ऑफ लॉग एथमिक इक्वेशन वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अ सिंगल लॉग एथमिक इक्वेशन टूडे एंड दैट लॉग एथमिक इक्वेशन विल बी कंटेनिंग लॉग टर्म्स इन बोथ द न्यूमरेटर एंड द डिनोमिनेटर so without any further delay let us start with our today's session first of all let us know let us look at the given question solve for x 1 minus log of x to the base 4 over 1 plus log of x to the base 2 equal to half now let us go to the rules part the first rule says Make the base of all the log terms the same, if not already the same. We are having two bases. One is four, and the other is two. The bases are not the same in our given question. So we have to make them have the same base. We can take the base to be ten or e or anything or any other number, or you can select the and take the common base as either 4 or 2 and we know that always it is easier to go from a higher base to a lower base rather than coming from a lower base to a higher base so in our today's session instead of taking the base as 10 or any other number which is not present in the equation we will be going for the common base we will be making the common base as 2 okay so first of all we change this term log of x to the base 4 we make the base as 2 because this is already in base 2 okay so log of x to the base 4 is equal to log of x to the base 2 over log of 4 to the base 2 and log of 4 to the base 2 is 4 is 2 square so we can write this as 2 times log of 2 to the base 2 which is equal to 1 the numerator stays the same so it becomes log of x to the base 2 over 2 because this part is equal to 1 therefore our given equation becomes 1 minus in place of 1 log of x to the base 4 we are writing log of x to the base 2 over 2 so it is 1 minus log of x to the base 2 over 2 Divided by one plus log of x to the base two equal to half, and then we come to the next rule. Bring all the terms containing log to one side and take the other terms to the other side. The other terms means the constants, the numbers, the pure numbers, to the other side of the equation and simplify to get one in single term on each side. over here we are having one single term on the left hand side one single term on the right hand side so we do not have to do anything for rule number 2 rule number 3 says because it is a fraction therefore cross multiply both the sides to get rid of the fraction so we will be cross multiplying we will be multiplying this numerator by 2 and this denominator by 1 so it becomes 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times log of x to the base 2 divided by 2 is and of course there is this negative sign it is negative log of x to the base 2 and this one is the same because it is getting multiplied with 1 so this is equal to 1 plus log of x to the base 2 and now coming to rule number 4 solve the log arithmetic equation using the methods that we have learned so far in our previous videos so this is now containing a single logarithmic equation and the log terms are having the same base so now we know what to do we will be taking all the bringing all the logarithmic terms to one side of the equal to sign taking all the numbers to the other side how do we do that if we add log of x to the base 2 to both the sides and if we add negative 1 to both the sides we get this thing 2 minus 1 
and log of x to the base 2 plus log of x to the base 2. 2 minus 1 is 1 and this is like a plus a. Don't get confused when you see log of x to the base 2 plus log of x to the base 2. What is this equal to? It is 2 times log of x to the base 2. Or else if you want to use the product rule of logarithms, it is log of x times x or x squared to the base 2. Even if you write 2 times log of x to the base 2, you can take the coefficient and make it the power of x. Everything, these, all of them can be done. Okay? And 2 minus 1 is 1. In this case, I have written 2 times log of x to the base 2. But you can very well write this as log of x squared to the base 2 using the product rule of logarithms. Okay? And then, again, you can divide both sides by 2 to get log of x to the base 2 equal to half. This is what I have done in, for this question or else, as I have said before, you can take this 2, this is in the coefficient place, you can take it to the power position and it, be, it becomes x square. Okay? And also, this 1 can be written as log of 2 to the base 2 because the base is 2. In place of 1, you can write log of 2 to the base 2. So, and if you take this in the power place, it will be x square equal to 2 or x equals root 2. Cannot take negative root 2 because you are having x as the argument which cannot be a negative number. So, you can solve that way. But I have converted this to an exponential equation and I have found the value of x as 2 to the power of half which is equal to root 2. Okay. So, 2 to the power of half is root 2. We are not having any extraneous solution in this case. But if you take, if you write 1 as log of 2 to the base 2 and you make this side as log of x square to the base 2 and you equate the arguments, you will be getting x square equal to 2. So, x equals plus minus root 2. You will be getting two values of x and you have to reject the negative root 2 part because you cannot have a negative argument. Okay? So, in, if you go by that method, you will be getting an extraneous solution, but over here we are having a single solution that is x equals root 2. Okay? So, students, this brings us to the end of this session. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We meet again very soon. Till then, bye.